to, uh, you know, this is a very interesting story, uh, and I'm curious how it, how it got into your hands. Well, uh, I was uh, sent a script by my agent, and um, uh, that is not a very interesting story. But I really enjoyed the script when I read it, and I couldn't tell which way it was going to go. Mm. I never knew what was going to happen, and I played this character who may or may not be responsible for the murder of his landlord, and may or may not be framed for it. Right. Or may have done it or not. I can't tell you. Well, I could, but well, I would ruin yeah, it. Yeah, but that would yeah, ruin it for everybody. Right. And when I was reading the script, I just couldn't tell. And I had to get to the end because I wanted to, wanted to know what, what was going to happen. Uh, this is such a, new, uh, a unique... I stumbled over the word wanted, <laughs> but I still I think people know that that was the word I wanted That's to where say. you wanted to go. Yeah. Um, it, it really feels like it's a, a real showcase piece. For all. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you know, you, you, you're the main character. It's, it's really, it's your story. You've got all yeah. these interesting people around you. Um, have you ever been involved outside of, you know, Little Britain and, mm -hmm. and say where, where you are the main focus and, and kind of the... The leading man. Actually. Not so much, not so much. Um, no, this is probably the most kind of prominent role I've played in something, uh, other than something I've been involved in writing. And so that was very flattering. And also, I think, you know, I don't look like Ashton Kutcher, uh, so I tend not to get um, uh, uh, offered or uh, considered for uh, leading roles so much. Um, so it was, it was, you know, it was a nice opportunity for me to flap my wings, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. I, I did notice that um, you're, you actually have hair in this movie. Uh, well, I have uh, wigs <laughs> right, in this that's movie. What I mean. But yeah. actually, there is a scene uh, earlier on where the character has some real hair. Um, uh, but it falls out because a bowling ball is dropped on his foot by the character played by James Marsden. It's very violent. Oh, movie. which is, who's your brother, yeah. right? Right. plays my brother, yeah. Well, you collect. Yeah, we look like brothers. Yeah, that's Me right, James. James. Clearly two peas from the same person. <laughs> <post. laughs> um, what was it like working with, uh, you know, you've got the, the, the cast is yeah, just amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to, to, to be able to work with, you know, veterans like uh, James Caan and and then, you know, you know, somebody as crazy as a, as a Johnny Knoxville. You yeah. Know, just the, the range, you know. Well, the secret about Johnny uh, that no one really knows is he's very docile. <laughs> he is. He's like a, um, a sedated puppy. Um, uh, albeit one with creaky joints now because he's been throwing himself around for so many years. Yeah. Uh, but he's a very kind and gentle man. And uh, he probably wouldn't want me to say that because he probably wants uh, you to think he's rock and roll but he's like a, um, he's very kindly and brotherly um, uh, obviously working with someone like James Kahn was a great honor uh, I've grown up watching him uh, and I had to pinch myself I thought oh I'm here with Jonathan E I'm here with Jonathan E and um, yeah challenged him to a game of rollerball it wasn't fast no it wasn't fast wow it wasn't fussy, he would have beaten yeah. me anyway. I'm surprised. Even though he's in his 70s. And of course, Billy Crystal. Well, I was going to say, did you get a chance to. I know Billy has a small part, but did you get a chance to. No, he has a, a fairly decent part. And uh, yeah, and I, and I had met Billy a few times okay. over the years because he was doing his stand up tour, and myself and David Williams were doing our Little Britain tour at the same time in Australia a few years ago. And uh, so we got to know each other then, and we would meet for dinner. Um, sometimes after our shows, which was really nice. That's cool. Yeah, and it was fun because his 700 Sunday show, apart from being hilarious, is, is a very kind of, um, it's full of pathos, and uh, and it's kind of, and it's a weird thing to say, it was probably the most beautiful comedy show I've ever seen. Yeah, I love and, it. Yeah, and it really resonated with me, and um, uh, I, I thought it was profoundly moving. And the idea that he has just done that show and meets us for dinner, and David Williams and I have been stripping off and yelling obscenities and yanking people up on stage and pulling down their, their uh, trousers. Um, and then we'd meet for a, a very uh, 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 kind of uh, sedate meal afterwards. But so I got to know Billy and, um, and he was great and it was just a great experience working with him. Um, and we had a scene together. I can't imagine you two doing, uh, having a, a 
you know, writing a piece together. That would be. Uh, oh would wow! Be I mean, cool. look, I just think he's him and Robin Williams, the two of them, oh. in their own class, really. Uh, and it's easy sometimes to get fixated on on whoever's new and fresh, and obviously some amazing people coming through all the time. But the two most extraordinary live shows I've ever seen were Robin Williams and, and Billy Crystal. You know, you mentioned something, um, you know, about Billy's uh, one-man show. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is one of those pieces that makes you laugh, and then and then also has that, you know, the heart. Um, this one seems to to start off as a as a broad comedy, and then it kind of focuses in and becomes a little bit more serious. Was that something that, you know, that really attracted you to the story, or, or was yeah. it more of just Franklin Franklin and that character? I thought that the story was pretty three-dimensional, and I wouldn't say it's a, a, a wild, broad comedy, really. I think um, of it just as the characters. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but there is obviously comedy in there, but I think there's a lot of darkness in there as well. And certainly for me, it was a challenge. Um, it was a different dialect, and it was a different uh, kind of mood. And it's rare for me to play one character for the entirety of a project. Usually, I'm playing three different ones right, each day. Exactly. Yeah. So it was it was nice to kind of be able to spend more time uh, with the character and, and maybe kind of uh, understand the, the, the deeper textures.